Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, been dealing with a number of pathing bugs and a bunch of other shenanigans, but we managed to make it this far into the military base that uh, Zerka had been exploring. And then subsequently set off the robots. Which, you know, is never a good sign. But, we're at the security door, which I can easily open. And lo and behold, there is a ton of more robots. And I had to go through another cycle to hopefully deal with the pathing bugs so far that we've run into. Here's hoping those are dealt with. Okay. And with that said, nice, got one of them at least. All right. And once again, problems are arising. I'm starting to think that this port has just been broken since the start. That said, we are doing a lot of damage against these robots, so, I mean, it's not going to be difficult for us to carve our way through this. Ooh. Okay. At least through the enemies that the game has thrown at us, we can carve our way through it. Problem. Overload droid recharging stations. <laughs> that was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just watching them go boom. Inactive. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Well, can I open it now, or is that still a no? <sighs> Controlled by a nearby terminal. Will it be this way? Maybe? One last force field out of the whole thing, perhaps? Here's hoping. How do you like that? Beautiful. Thank you, Baudur. Let us go further into the facility. And find out what the hell is going on. Nothing special over there. Seems like something big goes on over there, but we're not sure. Military base sub-level. Cannot be opened at this time. Okay. I guess it's after we explore a little further. Well, hi there. Damaged HK protocol droid. Yeah. Protocol droid. Right. And it does not appear to be functional. Activate the droid. The droid is now active. However, many of its functions still appear to be disabled. Program droid to follow you. Patrol mode engage. Once you end this session, the droid will follow you. Leave it alone. Walk away. And let's see what happens. Kaboom. Okay. All that happened was it went kaboom. Well. That was lackluster. And there's nothing else here anyway. So, well. Possible opponent has been dealt with. I guess. Because it blew itself up. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Uh, yet another force field. Isn't there always more? Arcanian energy shield and a security tunneler. I'm probably not going to need security tunnelers considering how good I am with security by myself. I hear you. 
The camera always seems to get every time. I shouldn't have said that this early in the episode. <laughs> the camera always gets screwy. There we go. Better. Uh, whenever actions that I tell someone else to do happens. Why are these not attacking me? It's been disabled. Okay. I don't remember doing that part. It, it won't let me target it. Thank you for letting me target it. Do these turn on? No. Oh, me overloading the charging stations made them all turn off, I guess. I assume that's the case. Maybe. I don't know. A lot of these droids have been deactivated. Actually, now I think about it, there was a deactivated droid in the hangar. Maybe they're not react. They're not reactivated because the reactor isn't on. Starting the reactor might turn them on. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a big old robo. That's a big O. Oh, no. Well, it turned on the turrets, but it didn't turn on this droid. Weird. Okay, whatever. Well, it seems the pathing path now is a lot better. So, maybe it was just a momentary uh, goof up with the game due to other bugs that popped up, I guess. Oh, of course you do. Of course you do. It's actually just permanently deactivated. Okay, well, in that case, I will just leave it alone. Oop, that's the wrong way. What I want to see is if I can go into sub-level. No, I cannot. I wonder when that will be opened. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't think I will ever know. Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh, I missed remains. Bothan Sensory Visor. Huh. Is that something I should equip on maybe Baudur? Whoa. Immunity to critical hits, awareness plus three, demolitions, rather awareness plus four, demolitions plus three, security plus three. I don't see why I shouldn't. <laughs> Bothans place great importance on the tools of the information trade. They would consider these items to be of average quality, though their standards are exceptionally high. Well then, on it goes. I'm going to put that on him too, because it'll probably be useful. Probably. Does he look... <laughs> he does look a little goofy with it on, but I've seen worse, so it's fine. All right, security door. Will you allow me to open you? You will. And you have a lot of stuff in here. Hello. Data pad. The data pad contains the ignition code for the orbital shuttle. Okay. So that basically gives me all the tools to get out of here. Question is, why can't I get into the sub-level? I don't know if there's ever going to be an answer to that. Unfortunately, I don't think there will be. Oh, that's what was behind this door. Huh, I can't unlock it, but I could blast it open with an explosive charge. Okay, well then, I should back everyone up. Tell them, no, stay here. And make Baudur do it, because he's the one with demolitions. 
Uh, minor frag mine, average sonic mine. It's probably better to use the miner. Okay. And running away. Okay. Started running in the wrong direction at first. Okay. Med pack and adrenal stamina. Okay. Well. That didn't really have much of anything useful, but hey. I at least opened it. Can I open this is the question now. Oh. Controlled by a nearby terminal. Control my foot. Okay. Well, we head back here now. Ah! <laughs> it's been running around. But it won't pass that point, I guess. That's weird. Well, the hangar doors have been unlocked. Is there anything else in here? Security control, nope, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just that big old robo. Okay, well, time to fight the big old robo. Tank droid. Okay. You're kidding me. Now you're going to have the pathing issue here? Okay. Ow. That hurt. But in the grand scheme of things that hurt. It's not going to hurt that badly. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh, boy. He's dead. He is dead. We targeted real hard on him, and he is now dead. Okay. That's not good at all. Oh, well, thank you, Kreia, for that. Well, uh, unfortunately, it didn't last long. Okay, well, it's time to turn that on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> healing's not going to be enough. Okay. Uh, time to do the cheat doodle trick. <laughs> Because, unfortunately, that's all I have. Um, advanced med pack. There we go. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? None of those are hitting? Oh, now it's hitting? Okay, all right. I see how it is. And I feel bad for Baudor. <laughs> He's just been dead <laughs> the entire time. Finally. Holy tits. Man. And it doesn't even give me any loot. I just have to sit here looking at Baudor, feeling bad because he died so many times. He died twice to this boss. I hear you. Yeah, well. What's going on? <laughs> could we could we actually get a little healing then, please? You, you basically sat back and did nothing. You basically sat back and did nothing. Look at you. You did nothing. I swear to everything holy. This game is intent on breaking every minute that it is possible. Alright, well, at least there's loot in here. If I didn't get loot off of him, I could at least get it here. Five frag mines. Arcanium Blinders, Credits, and Advanced Repair Kit. Okay, what is Arcanium Blinders? I have no idea. Off the top of my head, I have no idea. It's medium armor proficiency. Immunity to fire. Would have been nice during that <laughs> whole fight. Immunity to stun, fear, and horror, which is apparently what he had to deal with the entire time. So, giving him that instead. <laughs> Due to their high sensitivity to infer infrared light. I can't talk either. Boy, oh boy. I'm just falling apart at the seams. Arcanians developed IR blinders for when they travel to worlds with suns that are high in such light emissions. This technology was adapted to filter out excessive amounts of any electromagnetic energies, thus preventing any 
ocular overload. Then you know what? In regard to everything else, it isn't actually that good. Stun, fear, horror, though. That is actually rather good. That part. Whoa. I hit the button to switch weapons, and then for some reason the weapon is kind of unequipped and then re-equipped. That was weird. All right, whatever. Okay. It's probably for the best that I do this, then. And hold on to the Bothan sensory visor if I need the stat boost for whatever reason. Alrighty. I could do it for myself. Nah. Not worth it. Oh, I can't open all of the... You're kidding. I can't open the last locker here, but I can open the other three. Eat my butt, game. Eat my entire butt. Credits, poison grenades, another pair of infiltrator gloves, meditation band, security tunnel, lure, and adrenal stamina. Okay. Credits, plasma grenade, and CNS strength enhancer. And more metal boxes. Okay. A lot of components. I ain't going to turn that down. A lot of parts. Ain't going to turn that down. And I think that's everything. Thank you, Xbox One, for turning on. I very much appreciate you trying to participate in this game, even though I don't need you to. Thank you. Okay. I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. Ooh, this actually adds even more strength and does all saves plus two instead of just plus one for fortitude. Cool. I'm okay with that. Let me check the meditation band. Adds to wisdom, adds to plus saves for will, and immunity 20% versus dark side. This potent device helps shield one's mind from dark thoughts and influences. Boy, could I use one right now. <laughs> it would not protect the user from evil that stems from within, however. Damn, that's unfortunate, because that was what I needed. Anyway, put those on. Good. Fantastic. We're good now. And... This droid has been deactivated. Duh. Okay. Probably best that I start... Well, that... I want to just use the lap station. Thank you. Okay. Um, break down these. That's fine. Break down the frag grenades. Because I don't need that many. Actually, I don't need that much of any of these grenades. Uh, concussion. Yeah, I definitely don't need that that badly. Uh, poison. I'll keep three of each of these. Keep that. Uh, don't need plasma that hard. I know. It's a lot of chemicals. That's why I'm breaking them down. Because I don't need them that badly. Okay. That should be fine. I don't need the sonic mines. I don't need that many frag mines. And there. I think we're good on that. Now, creatable. Oh, if only. I have, I'm five points away. If only I could make those. If only. Ah, if only, if only the woodpecker size. Okay. Retinal combat implant would be nice, but don't need it. Um, especially since I have the Lornan implant. Put in uh, Baudur. I don't need anything really in this regard. Although hyper adrenal strength would be kind of nice. Battle stimulant allows for extra attack damage and vitality. Don't think I need it that badly though. Hyper battle stimulant would be better, but I don't need that yet. Key phrase yet. So, med packs ahoy. There we go. Should be good. I think. Should be good. Workbench wise. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nah. I don't think I need to do anything yet. I can use this, though. I can't go into the sub base for this place, though. Which is annoying. I wish I could, and I don't know why I can't. I don't know what computer I have to use to go further in. I guess I'll look that up later. But, for right now, I have done what I needed. Take the shuttle to the shielded mesa in Telos's polar region, which is where we needed to go. Oh, Kanak! Telling me I'm gonna get shot down again. Yes, I am. Man. Fucking plastic. And there's the rocket, and there I go. Uh, Maybe I should have put on more droid stuff. <laughs> oh well. And I'm sitting here knocked out again. The tendency of this to happen over and over again is getting rather shockingly boring. <laughs> Oh, and I don't have Baudor for this fight. I have Atten for this one. Okay. There you are. It has been extremely difficult to track you down, Jedi. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Right. And put an end to hostilities. You were right. That was unnecessary. So, uh, how many of you are there? are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. You were right, it was egotistical. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. Uh, we've proven that it wasn't enough for one of you. I don't think three will be any different. Um, hmm. I could say that. Uh, any reason why you shot down my vessel again? Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Mm -hmm. Being query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? Uh, I think we already know that. So, uh, destroying one of you is easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Hey, level up for Atten, which I hope I can do before we get into combat. Oh, thank you, Merciful Jeebus. Okay. Uh, one of those, why not? 
And I guess we'll put one and treat injury. Cool. Uh, Weapons-wise, what should we do with the weapons? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we'll swap out that for that. So, damage is actually pretty decent with him. Uh, hmm. Sonic nullifiers. This is actually probably better for him. You already got infiltrator gloves. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, military suit. Actually, we're pretty good with that. Um, hmm, hmm. Put that there. Just so it's somewhere. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can do with your stuff. Safety harness. Yeah, screw it. Put that on. That's better. It's better for you, anyway. Okay. And I guess... Yeah, that's good enough for you. So... Start firing. <laughs> I guess. And I will... Have her... Switch to blade. And have you do something. Sable droid. In that regard, I guess. And time to do my stuff. Which is that and then a lot of those. Well, I disabled one of them. That's good enough for me. Alrighty. Let's target you a little bit. Aha! Damage done. Alright. Oh, okay, I definitely need help here. Oh uh, boy. Maybe need to use that energy shield real quick. Okay. I appreciate you healing. Thank you. Alright, that did enough. And... Goodbye. Droid Toxin Emitter, Droid Defense Barrier. HK Control Cluster, and Droid Dash Plating. Interesting. And then Droid Energy Collector again. Not too bad. Not too bad, and I realize now that I have no shield. Uh, which one should I use? This does have more points in it, but I have far less of them. I guess I'll just use these up until they're gone. Alright, ah, oh boy. Can't see once again because you decided I needed speed more than anything else. Thank you, Freya, once again. Okay, welp is what it is, I guess. Can I change out? No, I can't. Bow door is apparently unavailable. As is my droid, but I already knew that. He's over here. Bow door looks as if he was knocked unconscious by the explosion. If you can find refuge, then he should recover in time. Well, here's hoping. And yeah, this is this is gone. Once again, another shuttle. Just absolutely destroyed. Keeps happening. Over and over and over. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. This seems like maybe... Oh, it is. It is an entrance to something. Polar Plateau Interior. That can't be good. Just standing over him for about <laughs> 10 seconds for no reason. Oh, joy. Door shut behind me. Wahoo. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Oh. 
Okay. Snow white hair, snow white clothing, in a polar region. I'm sensing a theme here. Uh, but I'm not answering that. That's dark sidey. Um, hmm. Who are you? I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Uh, I'll play along for now. Mm. Very well. I did not come here to do battle. Fair enough. Bye bye, weapon. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? <laughs> I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Admiral. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Ap, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? Th no. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. Big old exposition dump again. And I 
feel here comes more. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Whoa, my property. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that could go that route. Uh, wow, okay. There's a lot of options here. And most of them assume you know what's going on. Uh, so let me try and fill some of you in, uh, just to make it a little more clear. She was part of the Jedi Council that sentenced me to exile. And she seems to be trying to rebirth the Jedi from this little faux temple. As it is. Tell me what you've done with my friends first. Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? It was not my intention to come here, Atris. Or to see you again. Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? The Force brought me here. You presume much. The Force does not guide your movements, not anymore. Its connection was lost when you fell. Perhaps you feel that the Force also led you to the Mandalorian Wars as well. But in truth, it only led to your exile. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of options here. Uh, I didn't even know some of these were options. Um, maybe you should admit that it was the Council's decisions that led to the Jedi Civil War. You and all the Jedi who followed Revan caused the Jedi Civil War. It was because the need to wage war burned within you. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. Hmm. I also recall you wished me imprisoned. Or worse. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I have kept it, so I would never forget. I did not realize you still had it after so many years. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Hmm. Whoa, some of these, <laughs> some of these are really, really mean. Okay, um, whatever your reasons, I want it back. It is not yours. It is a symbol of something greater which you no longer represent. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. I went to war to protect others, not for battle. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. And the Council's way was to meet aggression with surrender? I'll take my choice any day. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Hmm. 
Hmm. Revan and Malak turned on you, not I. Without you and the other fallen Jedi to support them, to feed their lust for war, Revan and Malak's crusade would have been over before it began. Hmm. I guess this is the best option, considering where I'm going with it. Then you know nothing of what drove me, or Revan. I know you betrayed the Jedi teachings. All that you had been taught, you threw at your feet, crushed them beneath your heel. The Jedi teachings require we examine our actions. Acting without reflection is not our way. So you were content to let the Outer Rim die, for the sake of teachings? There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. If we had not fought, the Republic would have fallen. That is a fact. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... The triumph of pacifism? Surrender? Do not twist my words. A physical victory is not the only victory, or the only loss. If we had not acted, thousands of worlds would have been pillaged and burned of life. You do not know... I have only my experiences to guide me, and they tell me you and the Council were wrong. How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave, and Malachor V is where you should have died. And there it is. There it is. Now she's letting into her anger. Clearly, she has problems herself. There it is. Careful, Atris. Anger leads to the dark side. You see shadows where there are none and hate where there is none. You are blind as always. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war and you always will and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the council was correct, then why are you here? I am looking for my ship so I can leave Telos. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go with Meaner because, quite frankly, after that discussion, I, I feel it's justified. I'm here because a pretentious shutter stole my ship. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Are you admitting to stealing the Ebon Hawk? The Ebon Hawk is here, safe. Its records and Navi computer are being dissected to determine what caused the destruction of the Paragus facility. Good luck with the Navi computer. You're wasting your time. We're having some trouble with the Navi computer, but I think with your cooperation, willing or otherwise, that will cease to be an obstacle. If it is your ship, perhaps I should be questioning you as to what happened and why you destroyed the facility and murdered all the miners stationed there. <laughs> all the miners were already dead. A facility of over 150 personnel, all dead before you arrived. A childish story to mask your crime. Uh, of with course. with the facility destroyed, you think there is no way to confirm your story. But I will pry the truth from you, I promise you that. The destruction of Paragus was an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? I know it put Telos in jeopardy, but I had no choice. No. Your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Why is Telos so important? Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds, devastated by the Sith, will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime.
But the Sith attacked me on Paragus. The battle destroyed the colony. The Sith? What do you mean? The Sith came for me on Paragus to kill me. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. <laughs> I could go that route. That would that would be nice. I was the only Jedi they could find. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. Uh, of course you, you betrayed are. our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. They're stronger than you think. At least one Sith Lord stands with them. And they fight differently than the Sith from the Jedi Civil War. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. Your grasp of tactics is questionable. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Where can I find my companions? You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Wait. Is there anything I can do to help? You offer your aid. After turning your back on me, on the Council, the Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that. Something you never seem to understand. Hmm. But I always understood war, and that's who you need. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust. Perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship. Seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. Hmm. If there is anyone who can aid us, I will find them. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove him, mistress. I would like my lightsaber back still. Come with us. You sound differently than the rest of them, but okay. Interesting. Are you alright, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile. I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachment. She's as lying. Always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. She's still lying. Him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it. I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Can she even hear you? <laughs> and away she goes with my God's damned lightsaber. Again. But you can hear the lightsaber from here. That's a weird audio bug. Oh well. Light side points. Alrighty. And I could talk to them, but it is the end of the current episode because, well, I mean, 
almost 15 minutes already. So, <laughs> time to end this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to get my ship back led me to a faux Jedi Temple where apparently the only Jedi seems to be Atris, a former Jedi Council member who was part of the sentencing of me. And uh, I guess now I have free reign of the area until I leave Telos. What that means? Yeah, who can say? Uh, what I could find out, what I might be able to learn, what I might be able to do, we'll find out next episode for you.